gonna go ahead and hit record. But we are gonna go ahead and jump in because I just delayed this like five minutes. But we are gonna talk about your meal plan tonight. And I know that everybody has been, if you're on this call probably, you've been paying attention and participating in like our feed and stuff about um, about our discussion about meal plans and stuff. But Christy and I just wanted to take a minute to kind of walk you through the resources uh, to answer any questions or concerns that you might have and really just help you guys get started right. This is for us as much as it is for you too, uh, because we are newbies in this program together. So um, I am Rachel Mitchell. And I know that not everybody in here is my part of my team or well, you're part of our team, but you're not my counter, some of your Christies and so on. Um, but I'm really, really, really glad that you guys are doing this with us because it doing anything new, it's so awesome to do it with a bunch of people who don't know what they're doing. Anymore. Um, but we are going to just jump into, uh, and at the end, like I'm going to take you through some of the resources and show you how to use those um, and show you how to make them your own. And then Christy's going to talk about goals and mindset at the end. And we're going to get a little bit into, um, you know, the fact that we are reading Made to Crave together. And we're going to tackle that later in the week. Okay. So does anybody want to, oh, did I just lose you guys? No. <laughs> Okay, um, y'all, I swear my computers don't like me. They don't like me. My internet just crashed. Hold on a second. <laughs> I think I need to. I can um, still hear you. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm going to share my screen with you guys. If you are on um, a phone or something, it might be a little bit, it'll be small, obviously, but tell me, can you guys see my computer screen? I'm in Beach Buddy on Demand. Okay, cool. All right, so obviously this is where we've been in a little obsessed and we're gonna jump into 80 day obsession. Um, and so I haven't honestly watched these these videos, but I've been watching all of these videos on Facebook. So hopefully I've covered, I, I know what she's telling us there. Um, but if you go to program materials, so we are going to start. So the way this is gonna work, um, just so you guys have a heads up, if you've done, um, Beachbody on demand programs before, which obviously we've all been doing stuff. They always like if you go to Core to Force, all the workouts are there for the entire program, right? 80 day obsession is a little bit different because there are 80 different workouts, the way that I understand it, if I'm correct. There are 80 di completely different workouts that are part of this program. And, and so we're basically going to be doing a different one every day. Like I said, if I understand that correctly. So what they are going to do instead of just loading the whole entire program all at once, but I think they're going to give us a week's worth of programs at a time. All right. So on Monday, the, the work, the workouts for Monday through next Sunday will be launched in Beachbody on demand. And then the following week and so on and so on. And at the end, you're going to have the entire library and you'll have it for, for as long as you have Beachbody on demand. But just in the beginning, they're going to load the workouts one week at a time. Okay. So I'm not really sure why, but um, it doesn't matter because we're not going to go through and do all the workouts together, right? Um, but we're going to start with the starter guide. This is your getting started um, right guide. Um, and all their programs come with this. It's a really quick like blurb. She, she details a little bit about the focus of the program, you know, about the workouts, about time nutrition, uh, the refeed days, which we'll get into in phase two. And she really talks a lot about self-care in this. Um, her boogie. I'm sorry, I just can't handle her boogie. Um, her, it talks about self self care in this program, and so she apparently she will in, in the workouts and things like that. She's really gonna stress that, but you know, like getting enough sleep, taking care of your body, making sure you're stretching, and all that stuff. So that's gonna be a big component to this, which I think is awesome because I really need to focus on that personally. Um, but this is where you're gonna get started. So taking your before pictures, your before measurements part of any program that you do. It's really, really important. And they do suggest that you take your before pictures the day before your first workout, okay? So so in the past, I've told challengers, just any time during prep week, take your before pictures. But she is suggesting to do it the day before um, 
your, your first workout. So we all have got to do that and your measurements. And so guys, this is really important. Why? Um, I think it's easy to skip this part, maybe because we're not really happy with the way that we look or we're just busy and we don't take the time to take our measurements and our pictures. But the thing is that everybody's body is so very different. And so like in this test group alone, like I saw a lot of the results I actually know and I heard some of their own testimonies. And um, the way that it happened was that, hold on, let me mute some of you guys so you guys can hear me. Um, the way that it happened is that like some of the challengers in the test group, they got the best results. Um, they didn't lose like a single pound during the first or second phase, but they lost a ton of inches. And so if you just pay attention to the scale while you're on this journey, which hopefully we're not going to, um, you know, I don't think we should weigh every day, but we will weigh like once a week. Um, you know, it's easy to get caught up. If you're not losing weight, you can get discouraged. But I see so many challengers that don't lose weight, but they lose inches. You know, Angela Snyder's in this group. She's been through so many different challenges with me and she's lost inches, but she doesn't lose a ton of weight. Okay. And so it's really important to do both. Take your before pictures, take your, take your measurements and make sure that you have those cataloged. And we're going to do this at the end of each phase. Okay. So that's what that resource is for right there. Um, and at the end, we'll have our total, total transformation. And it's important to do this too, because when you finish a Beachbody program, I don't know if you know this, but if you submit your before and after photos to beach body they give you a free shirt so you can get like a free tank top or a free shirt um, which is always fun to do the next thing is that you're going to figure out what your calorie target is it's going to put you in the right bracket the right plan for um, for you that you'll go through during this program okay so you're going to take your current weight multiply it times 11 give you a baseline add 600 and then you are going to um, reduce it if you want to lose weight by that 750 calorie deficit and it's going to give you your plan that you're going to fall in. And we're just focusing on phase one right now. So we'll do this at the start of each plan. Um, and so like if you lose weight, during the first phase, you may go down a, a bracket, you may go down a plan in the second phase, okay? And so again, just you're gonna hear us say this a lot, like trust the process. If you fall into plan B or plan C and you're like, oh my gosh, that's so much food, like I don't think I can eat that, please just try it. Please just do it for the first week or two and if it's still too much food or you're not getting results, then you can bump it down. Um, and the same way, it goes in the opposite way too. If you fall into plan A and you're doing these workouts, which they say are huge calorie burners and you find that you're losing weight or you don't have enough energy and you need to bump up a plan, then you can do that as well. But for now, just to get started, follow this formula, figure out what plan that you fall into, and we will stick with that for right now. And again, we'll recalculate it at the beginning of phase two and of phase three. Now, is there anybody in this group that's a runner, like that runs a lot? You can unmute yourself if you are. Uh, but for runners, apparently, like if you are training for a race or a marathon or something, you definitely need to bump it up um, a bracket. Did somebody unmute themselves? I did. Okay. Um, also, once you talk about this, um, breastfeeding is another one. Yes, yeah, you definitely need to add calories. So probably go up a bracket for breastfeeding. Um, I don't think anybody here is pregnant, but if you are pregnant, Autumn does not, or if you get pregnant, Autumn does not recommend that you do this program if you're pregnant, okay? Um, so that's really important too, I think, because supposedly we are supposed to be burning a lot of calories, you know, and, and some of the workouts too are going to be a little more intense. So definitely be aware of that. Um, and I don't think there's anything else as far as like the brackets and the plans, just make sure you're getting enough calories. Like I can't tell you how many times people have told me, she said that, um, uh, Melanie said that in the videos, like all the, all the people, Autumn and her cast are all like wearing calorie monitors. Um, I don't know, like I'm excited to see, I hope I burned a ton of calories. It'd be awesome. Um, but anyways, okay. All right, so the next thing, let's see, we figured out, you'll figure out which plan you fall into. Um, so for me, I fall into plan A. Um, I don't really want to lose a lot of weight. So if I start to, um, I will bump it up to plan B for sure. And, and two guys, like don't just look at this and say, oh, I'm in plan A, I've done 21 day fix before, I know what I'm supposed to eat. 
because the portions are a little bit different. You are working out longer, and so they've added in a couple of extra containers, which is exciting, right? Uh, so in plan A, I do actually get more containers of certain things that I would in 21 Day Fix or 21 Day Fix Extreme, okay? Um, and so that will be your plan, and you take that, um, and again, this whole thing breaks down like the, um, the workouts. As you can see, some are like 60 minutes long, some are shorter. Um, if you guys run, like I'm a runner and I know Tracy's a runner, they suggest not to run on leg day and to choose a day like cardio core or cardio flow to run because the workouts are shorter, okay? So that's just something to remember. Um, these are your equipment, you know, you need weights, you need resistance loops, you need the sliders, the foam roller. I don't have a foam roller, but apparently there's a workout on Sundays that you can stretch and do the foam work, uh, roller. Okay, so the eating plans, of course, we've talked about the workout block. Refeed day, do you want to talk about refeed day, Christy? Would you look into that more? Um, okay, yep, I can. Now or when we... Oh, I don't care. What, you want to do it later? That's fine. Okay, that's fine. Okay, um, and then, okay, so I'm gonna just talk about this. We know about the performance line. Like, I use the performance line. Again, I am very intolerant to whey. So I love Recover, but I can't just drink Recover right after my workout like she talks about. Um, so I have to put a little bit of it into my Shakeology, so that's how I'm gonna incorporate it. But the, the performance line is amazing. I, I use Energize every single day. I use Hydrate definitely during some of the more intense workouts. And so if you don't have these and you wanna try it, there's like a sampler pack. And and you can order to try them um, or there's like a whole package that you can get if you just want to like boom invest in it and work up incorporate that into your um, into your workout regimen and your meal planning um, things so okay so uh, let's look at so for me I would be in plan A um, and if you just go and you find whatever plan that you fall into and this is going it tells you like step by step exactly what to eat which containers to eat um, how, what time to eat based on your workout block um, and so forth so let's just go ahead and look at that so of course if you're familiar with the containers you know what they stand for but if you're not this is what I love about Beachbody okay so like you don't have to look at these containers and think what do I eat they give you oh that's not in here is it I have to look at the other the food list um, but this is going to be your meal planning guide so uh, this is going to tell you what to eat when to eat and time nutrition guys like if you watch that video uh, that I shared in our group today autumn is pretty hardcore about just trust the process okay so I know we all have kind of a lot of questions we're all kind of questioning do I eat that early in the morning can I eat like 20 minutes before I work out or does it have to be an hour and a half um, Definitely follow, definitely follow the plan as closely as you can. Now, I'm going to work out at 5 o'clock in the morning, so I'm not getting up at 3.30 to eat my pre-workout meal. That just ain't going to happen. Um, and I was actually struggling with an hour before, but she says that for early morning workout people, like, you can actually, like, eat and then just go work out. If you can, if you can handle that, like, if, you, if that doesn't upset your stomach, you can do that. So I'm probably going to eat, like, 30 minutes before my workout because that's going to mean I don't have to get up as early. Um, but I am going to do my pre-workout meal because that's part of the program. Even though I like to eat on it, I mean, I like to work out on an empty stomach. I'm going to do this because I trust her. Like, I trust her. I mean, look at her. And she's a, she's a trainer, and she's done all kinds of stuff for years, and I'm just going to trust the process and see what happens. Um, and the idea is to eat before you work out so that you're giving your body the fuel that it needs in order to push harder during these longer workouts. So, so again, just trust the process and get creative. You know, like if you have to move your workout, if you can move your workout uh, to later in the day, the afternoon or the evening, you know, just play around with it and try it. And, and you're going to hear me and probably Christy say a whole lot throughout this, like give yourself some grace, okay? Because this is new for all of us and I don't anticipate that it's going to go perfectly uh, for myself or for anybody else. So just make the plan expect some things to go a little crazy um, and give yourself some grace and just view these first few weeks, especially as practice at this. All right. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So you've got your pre-workout meal. Uh, you've got your pre-workout supplement, which is energized. And then you have, you know, obviously you can incorporate hydrate if you want to during your workouts. And then the post-workout supplement of recover and fruit. Now for me, I'm not going to eat a green, a red and a yellow and a spoon 
at 4 or 4.30 in the morning. So Autumn has given us the option to swap meal one for the pre-workout meal. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a half of a banana, a boiled egg, and almond butter before I work out. And I've been doing that. Works great. Doesn't bother me. I feel pretty good when I do that, okay? If you don't have recover for after your workout, she says just skip that. Like, don't just eat a half a banana. Just just do your workout and then eat your, your post-workout meal an hour to two later, okay? That's what they, I, I heard last night. So if you don't have recovery, you just kind of skip that part of it, all right? Does that make sense? Um, and then going down, so for me, I'll put this, this pre-workout meal down here in place of my option one meal. So I will eat for lunch. What did I have? I had like um, pork loin. I had um, a sweet potato. I had... Uh, steamed broccoli, and I will have coconut oil on that, okay? And then, again, they suggest follow the meal plan, the containers, as she has it laid out here. Why? Probably because she's figured out for each, each body type, each meal plan, what your body needs at certain times of the day to keep it functioning, to keep it, uh, to keep it fueled with energy, and to keep you from crashing, for sure, okay? And I know that they look different, right? So plan A, plan B, plan C, do they look a little different as far as carbs and things? at different times of the day. Oh, different times. I think they do. So just find your plan, stick to it, make your plan based on it, kind of tweak it, work with it a little bit, figure out what you like from your containers and just, you know, again, keep it simple. Like don't try to make like enchilada casserole or something like that. Like I'm saying like keep it simple. A protein, a sweet potato, some steamed veggies, a salad, um, you know, like that. I think the simpler that you can go, the better that you're going to feel and you're not going to feel as stressed out as if you're trying to make some of these other things. Um, and you know, like I have to say at this point, you know, a lot of people worry about their families and well, what's my family going to eat? You know, while I'm doing this, your family can eat a sweet potato. I mean, I'm sure they'll eat a salad or broccoli or something. You know, like I might eat pork loin and a salad, but I'll make macaroni and cheese for my boys to eat with it. So like, don't let this stress you out in regards to your family. And also let it be an opportunity for them to see you doing something different. Like explain to your family what you're doing, why you're fueling your body a little differently. Like I'm always surprised at how how much the boys listen to what I say and how they will make healthier choices. Not always. I mean, I walked in today and Henry was eating a donut at his grandmother's, but you know, like, I mean, they're going to make better choices than if we're not showing them and talking to them about what we're doing. And that's a huge piece of this for me. A huge mission for me is to teach moms to teach families because it starts with us. And so, you know, your kids are watching what you're doing. Your husband's watching what you're doing. My husband eats better when I eat better. So don't worry about keeping it simple. Um, just look at this as an opportunity to, to share, share new foods, new, a teaching tool with your family for sure. Okay. But definitely follow the plan, all right? So follow the plan the way that it's laid out. Um, you have this option for a nighttime supplement. It's called Beach Body Recharge. Again, it's just to help your muscles heal. Um, you don't have to have that, but it is a good option if you want that. Um, and then for each plan, again, like they give us an exact meal plan to follow. And this is nothing crazy. Like you don't even have to have recipes for, for this stuff. You know, pre-workout meal can be beach body. I mean, can be spinach, eggs, oatmeal, and olive oil, um, and so on. You guys can read all that. But it's, again, it's very simple. It's not hard to just print this out and, and to follow this for a day or two and then just swap it out with the containers. Um, with something different in your containers that you want to use. Um, Sunday is designed to be a rest day. Um, I don't, let's see, does the meal plan, I don't think it changes. It doesn't change for rest day. You still have the same containers. You still eat every two to three hours. Um, she does move your, your purple containers to the top. So you're eating your purple containers earlier. I'm sure that has something to do with sugars. Um, and then we, you do have a modified, in phase two, you have a modified refeed day, but we're not there yet. Um, but Christy, you can talk about refeed day a minute if you want to. Hold on. Yeah. 
You there? Can you hear me? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. So refeed is not a cheat day or even really a cheat meal. You know, like a cheat meal is just blow it out, whatever you want or a day. Um, but refeed, it's really going to increase your starches or your yellows. And it, what it does is the thought is, is that it will boost your, I don't know if metabolism is the right word, but it's just going to boost you to be able to have extra energy and then to whatever all the science is behind it is to help you um, with energy and then it kind of resets. So um, there's a whole article on it. If you look in where Rachel was, um, there's a Beachbody blog article on it. It gives you like the details and if you're really if you're talking to people that are kind of like what we would say hardcore gym um, goers and following their macros you hear all of that that's what we're doing mm -hmm. it's just laid out for you like easy as pie um, and oh, so yeah. those people will uh, those kind of people, like if you say refeed around them, you know, supposedly it's a very common term for, um, you know, like trainers and nutritionists. Um, but did you see that link where I was or where I was referencing it? You and I read it, Rachel. Was it embodied? Wait, I'll put uh, up here. It's probably here in the blog. But yeah, we can we can share it in the grape too. There is an um, yeah. article about it. And you eat, you know, like you're going to eat like starchier. Um, yes, you're going to be like, what? Like I get waffles. Like and four potatoes. cups of potatoes today. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, it will, I bet you by phase two, it will taste like candy. Whatever we eat, <laughs> sweet potatoes will taste like candy by yeah. phase two if you are following it to a T. Hey, and guys, too, this is important. I'm glad she said that. When you go to the blog, like there are these little, um, articles that have like non pre-workout meals, non post-workout meals. So like as you're, I'm, I mean, I eat the same thing over and over and over. It does not bother me. Like I'm such a creature of habit. Uh, but if you need new ideas, there's some really good things there as well. Um, does anybody have any questions? Like I'm going to unmute you guys before I go on. I want to show you um, the, the container list. Um, and talk about that for a brief second. And there are also, like, there's a workout calendar. Everybody should have gotten a workout calendar with your stuff if you ordered the the equipment and everything. But I know somebody didn't. I want to say Jordan did, didn't get something. I can't remember. Um, and then there are tracker sheets. So this is really important, too. Like, if you are in this to get results, you are going to want to, to make sure you're not only measuring your food, and what you're putting into your body, but like how hard are you pushing yourself? And I'm not saying like push yourself so hard you hurt yourself, but you know, like if you find that your reps are getting too easy or you're just kind of pushing through a workout and, and it's effortless like the second week, then you need to up your weights, okay? Um, and so I, I think, I mean, like the weights that you start with, that's the kind of the beauty of this. Like you can start as, with as little or as much as you want to, uh, but you may have to go out and get a new set of weights at some point during this program. Like that's the goal. That's not a bad thing. That's an awesome thing. Um, so make sure that you print these off. Like I just printed all these resources off at Office Max. Uh, because I don't have a color printer at home and I wanted to and it cost me like three bucks I think um, so I printed my meal plan my container list my tracker sheets um, and I have it all just where I can reference it and keep up with it okay but the other thing I wanted to show you of course there are two con there are food two co food container lists one for vegan and one for not um, and so little secret if you, um, again, trust the process. If there's food on this container list and you're like, what, I can eat waffles? That's crazy, like I shouldn't be eating waffles. But if you want a waffle, just eat it. Now, obviously, if you're eating waffles for all your yellows, you're probably not gonna get as good results as if not. But the thing about these container lists, the way that Beachbody has designed them, if you eat from the top third of each list, those are the healthiest and the most whole forms of these food groups, okay? So if you want the best results as fast as possible, 
then just stick to sweet potatoes and yams and quinoa and plantains and beans and lentils, okay? Um, if you want uh, the best proteins, just eat from the top of that list and so forth. Um, obviously, the purple container, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, um, they are, you know, much more whole form of a purple than applesauce or tomato sauce or salsa. So you can kind of look at that and figure that out for yourself, but that's just a tip. Don't, um, don't stick to the bottom of the list. If you want the best results, eat from the top of each container list. But again, please, 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 I'm begging you, just keep it simple. You know, um, just, just like chicken, steamed veggies, sweet potato, eggs, fruit, almond butter. Like it doesn't, doesn't need to be complicated. And honestly, I have found personally with my own results that the more I eat just whole foods. Um, the simpler my meal prep is and the quicker my results come, okay? And and you get used to it. I mean, yes, sometimes I miss like chips and queso or something like that, but I'll have that later. Right now I'm focused on this program and making it work for me and seeing what kind of results I can get, honestly. So um, trust the process, definitely evaluate. Evaluate how you feel. That's gonna be a huge part of this uh, for a lot of us. Like if you feel tired and lethargic and just, just no energy, you're probably not getting enough food, okay? Um, if you, if you can't eat all your meals and you're definitely satiated, then you may need to cut back a little bit on your containers or bump, bump back a bracket. But definitely try it where you fall at the beginning um, and just follow the plan that's laid, the way it's laid out for you, okay? Um, does anybody have questions about any of that before Christy moves on to like goal mindset? Nobody? <laughs> okay. Um, do you guys like, do you, again, like we have all types. I mean, you can use those, that thing in Beach Body on Demand. There's a place to write out like a day meal plan. Um, you know, we have different like Canva sheets. There are spreadsheets you can use, but like if you need a resource to make your own meal plan, like we're happy to share that with you. Um, you know, like I used to be a paper and pencil girl, but now I like to see it. Like, especially with something like this, like I need to see it very visually for me to understand what a workout block is and when I need to eat it and you know how that works for me. So we are happy to share anything um, that you need for your meal planning resources. So which one is it? She said you can swap your pre-workout, which is green on plan A, green, red, yellow. With meal can, one. Meal one, which uh -huh. is purple and yellow. Okay. And so post-workout meal is your one to two hours after, right? Yeah. Okay. And that's the thing, like they, they, I hear this over and over, like don't go moving containers around, <laughs> you know, like don't start swapping out containers for different times of the day, like follow it the way it's planned. Yeah. I'm just doing something real quick here before I share my screen. I can share. Okay. Are you ready for me? You want me to go? Are you, you want me to go, Rachel? You want me to talk? Sorry, what? It's like, are you want me to talk? I'm not looking at the screen, so I was like, what happened? Where are we? <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, um, go ahead. I'm going to mute myself. Where are we? Who am I? Um, okay, one second, and I'm going to show y'all something that just as an example, and then this would be orange, but okay. So like Rachel was saying, we have different um, plans. Guys, I can, I started looking at the, you know, materials when we saw that they launched Sunday, we were like, oh, it's out, it's out. And so we looked at it, and then on Monday, I was like, Rachel, I think this is easier to teach than like teaching meal planning in, a 21 day fix group because it is exactly what you are supposed to eat. The hardest part about this, in my opinion, is your timing. And um, if you're early morning or you have something, you know, in your day that you're having to plan your workout around now, I think that's the hardest thing. Um, so I'm really, really relieved for it. Um, about the meal planning. Cause I was getting worried, like, how are we going to do it? And I've looked at probably five or six different 
templates. And honestly, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Can I share my screen or can you give me share? I can just do it. Um, honestly, this one here, can y'all see it? The one in Beachbody On Demand. I, I think that's the easiest one there is. And I haven't recreated it yet, but um, I'm going to um, recreate something like this in Excel or uh, uh, Canva. It may be easier to do it in Excel. But anyways, it, it just is so easy. And then you can see even here, like your refeed day, what we were saying. It really just adds in these extra yellows. Um, and if I need to make it bigger, let's see. Um, it just adds in some extra yellows. And then, you know, we get into this deplete day and I'm not even read that far, um, really. But you know, um, like Rachel said, the reason that these are laid out this way, it is scientific. And it also, like she said, it's to get you through the day, but it's also so you can burn off the sugar from those purples and yellows before you go to bed. So that's another part of it. So, but guys, I just want you, you know, I've chatted with you, a few of you today and, and I've also chatted, you know, about myself. Like if I stuck to this and didn't swap out the pre-workout meal and that, um, uh, meal option one, like I would essentially be eating like a lunch around 830 if I work out at 430. You know, and I'm not one, like I can eat sweet potatoes and cucumbers and whatever for breakfast. I'm not one that believes you have to have eggs and, you know, uh, bacon for breakfast, but like, I just can't eat lunch. I can't walk in my office and eat what would be considered my lunch at 830. Like it's just not going to work out for me. So um, you know, I don't want anybody to stress out and think I just can't do this. I'm, you know, we can work with you and say, you know, in my opinion, you know, Autumn is right. It's her program, but we also have to be realistic. I don't think if I'm finished with, or anyone is finished with purples or yellows by 11 or 1130 AM and you're not going to bed until eight, nine or something like, I just don't think that it's going to you know, botch your results. Will they be exactly like somebody else's? Maybe not. But what are the odds of your results being like exactly like somebody else anyway, based on, you know, what we've already talked about. Everybody's body's different and you're going to have different results. So think about that. Lay it out with a plan like time. I mean, does anybody have any like heartache or like stressing out about actually how to plan like the timing of this? Is anybody having that, have an issue with that? Like everybody's got it? Okay, I take it, yeah. Um, because that's the first thing that you have to do. Everything else is like, okay, can I really eat that at that time? So, you know, you just have to back into it. And I think it's, almost, it's easier than a little obsessed, in my opinion, because again, it tells you exactly what you need to have. Um, so one thing that I was going to say, as far as mindset goes, um, you know, we've talked about being realistic with this, you know, ideally in my life, not just with 80 day obsession, I would be working out in the mornings at like seven 30 or eight. Like if I could work out that time of day every day, but I think my life would be 10 times better just because I think I would be in a better mood most days, but, um, I can't. And so I have to work out four 30. So I have to be realistic and I recommend that. But another thing is your mindset, like on day, you know, two or three, you may feel like you're going to die or you have the flu which may very well be possible if you're in the Southeast right now because everybody in the Southeast has the flu, it seems like, but um, the epidemic, but um, so I'm not saying blow it off by any means, but your body could really be in detox. Um, and, you know, if you've ever done three day refresh in your following 21 day fix portions and you're like, oh, I've got this, you know, I'm already eating a clean diet but you don't realize how much, if you go from like Rachel was saying, the enchilada casserole to whole foods, um, there's a lot of sugar that sneaks into different ingredients and it adds up and our bodies can feel it. So the call that we had with um, Autumn several weeks back, um, you know, she encouraged you don't on day two or three be like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. I've got to go B or C or D. Don't panic right away your body may be detoxing. Again, though, 
I'm not, I don't want anybody to like collapse at their office on day three or have the flu and not go. So just, you know, be like, let me check myself. You know your body best. So, uh, you know, just kind of check yourself. Um, and if your husbands are doing this with you, I have always found that men detox harder than women. Like they will be shivering and like, uh, I, I can't make it, you know, on day two or three. And it's a little later for women. I have found I'm not a dietitian or anything, but that's also personal experience with my husband multiple times. So, um, I think men, um, have a sugar detox harder than women for whatever reason. Um, Okay, so mindset's going to be key. So, you know, don't panic in the beginning and think, I can't do this. This is so hard. Really, like, you know, Rachel's already said this. The first couple of weeks, guys, like, in the big scheme of things, we're in this for 80 days, right? <laughs> so, minimum. So, 14 days or, you know, a week or two to warm up. Like, if you find that you didn't nail your um, time nutrition on day one or two, that's okay. It's going to, you know, it's a warm up. I mean, how many of us before this are really like timing when we eat? You know, we may like feel, you know, an internal clock, but of keeping it within that window. Um, so there's going to be some give or take and show yourself some grace um, because you're, you know, don't, again, just don't beat yourself up and set your goals. You know, like week one, you know, we do this. If you've ever done another challenge group with us, we set our goals. I'm like, okay, week one, what is the goal? I remember in my first challenge group, my goal was to follow my meal plan because I've never just been that disciplined um, in my nutrition or even, you know, on my best day of watching what I was eating. I never was that rigid. So, you know, maybe that's your goal is to, you know, follow your meal plan or, if you're having trouble right now with your pre-workout meal, your goal is by next Monday, you know, to get there that you can have a Shakeology or, you know, you have found, you know, what works for you. Um, I, I think that setting realistic goals is going to be very important. Um, this is not really about nutrition and something Rachel already talked about, but also set your goals, you know, not don't wait until you feel like your weight um, you know, W E I G H T is, uh, too light, you know, set your goal. Like, okay, I want to bump up, you know, every phase or, you know, based on what it is. So try to push yourself. Um, because if you go through this for 80 days, you don't want to go through it stagnant. Like I've yet to hear anybody in the, um, coach, uh, test group come out of it and say it was easy. So if you start to feel that you are, this is easy. Um, there might be something to tweak <laughs> of, you know, whatever it is. Um, okay. So I kind of jumped around. I started talking about meal planning and then went to goals, but in templates, I think this is the easiest one. I was also going to show you another one. Like if you, um, this is just a straight up Excel work, uh, uh, worksheet. Don't look at anything past over here, right? Just look at this one column. And this is a way to play with this. You know, we're not supposed to be changing much, but this shows it flipped right here of what it would look like. And then all you would do would be is to change your timing um, of you know, where you need it to be um, based on your, your workout um, and then through the day. So I'm not saying this one is right. This has kind of just been a test worksheet and um, I have a Dropbox account and that can be made public and I could Rachel if you want me to do that to put a folder in there and give everybody access to it and you may come up with just an awesome worksheet that um, that you want to put in there and share or a template but I know that uh, this can be done in numbers uh, on your phone or your Mac, because I'm in numbers now, I say Excel. Um, it can be converted to Excel, but this is one to, um, to play with if you want to. And again, like Rachel said, planning your food, is gonna, if you are using, you know, planning whole foods, it's gonna make it a lot easier. I hear a lot of people get stressed out about planning. Well, a lot of times that comes into play when you're using a lot of ingredients. Um, in in your meals and like how do I calculate that well it's pretty easy you get one red one green and one yellow <laughs> and a teaspoon around here how you're gonna use it 
I know in my mind, I'm going to have a vegetable, a starch, and a protein because that's going to make me think I'm eating more versus a casserole with all of that jammed in and I get like a cup of something. You know, so a lot of it is just, you know, play to your, your, uh, your mind. Um, I, that's kind of, I mean, we have other, like Rachel said, we've got a ton of templates, um, that we can uh, share and walk you through. Everybody's going to plan differently. And so if you see someone that has this beautiful meal plan and you're like, Oh, mine doesn't look like that. It doesn't matter. You know, do what works for you. Um, and, um, don't spend a lot of time on this guys. Spend the time on prepping your food because you can have the prettiest meal plan ever that you took you an hour to create um, and design. But then that was, you know, 30 minutes of that could have been used on prepping some food. I, I on it, like, I'm so excited about this. I think this is just the most brilliant thing in the world. I thought the containers were the most brilliant thing um until this and y'all I'll be the one that's like on Tuesday dying like oh my god I can't do this but I am just like it's laid out for us on a silver platter like we just have to do it and so I'm I'm excited about it I'm not excited about eating eggs I'm probably going to change that um I will tell you my favorite thing I've seen so far is Jess Ranger on my team, she showed her, uh, she's practicing with a little obsessed right now. And so her breakfast was some chicken uh, sausage and um, a piece of toast with almond butter and cucumbers. And like, I was like, I could always eat sausage. Like, I mean, that's just me. So I think that I may eat sausage at 4.20 in the morning instead of eggs because I love eggs, but that didn't work out. I mean, it did, I did it, but it's not like you enjoy standing there eating it um, at 4.20 in the morning. So get creative. What else, Rachel, as far as like gearing up for it? I think that I really want us, if you, let's see, what do you see? Can you stop your screen too? Okay. Uh, oh, probably see mine. I don't know what yeah. I did. Okay. So obviously, like we're not just here. I stopped sharing. Yeah, thank you. So we are not just here to change our outside, right? Like I always see every new program that I start. And for some of you guys, most of you guys are not starting with your health and fitness right now, but maybe you've never invited God into it like you are going to in this group. And I really want to ask you guys like to, I really want you to be intentional with not just the workouts and the nutrition part of it, but what I call like your working in time, you know, like that time that you spend working in, uh, that time that you spend in, whether it's journaling in your devotions in your, in your reading through the Bible, you know, we are reading made to crave together. And that, I mean, if you have not read that book, like I haven't read it since I started a little over three years ago. And I'm going to pick it back up and read it. And like, I could get emotional because I know that every time I read that book or when I look through it and I see my notes, like it triggers where I was when I first started. And it really makes me think about like, I've tried to do this without God. Like I've tried to do this without God and it does not work, you know? And so like, I'm excited for you guys to, to take your spiritual life to a new level. And I want you to share that. Like if you feel comfortable in our group, yeah, we've been talking about food. We've been talking about containers and workout blocks and all that stuff. And it's exciting, but like, I want you guys to feel free to, to set some spiritual goals, to set some, even like relationship goals, like whether you're doing this with your husband or something, whatever it is, like set those emotional and spiritual goals as well. You know, like I know for us, a lot of us as women, um, this might be a time of self-discovery. You know, if you're following your workout block and you're like, it comes five o'clock and you're like, I need that glass of wine. Like that might be a treat. I mean, that might be something that you didn't realize that you relied upon so much, you know, like think about it, journal, really evaluate how you feel at certain points of the day. And like, are you using food as a stress reliever? I mean, you know, or does, does a relationship trigger you to want to eat more food? You know, like look deeper than just the scale 
or what the tape measure tells you, you know, because we know that we're not healthy outside if we're not healthy inside. And so like, I want to challenge you guys to journal through this process because it is such a long process. Like I kind of don't see it as like, Oh gosh, that's so long. I'm like, Oh my gosh, I think I'm going to be sad when this is over because I've, I just know like God's going to do something in 97 days, right? In my heart. So if I let him uh, do that, if I ask him to do that and also like definitely don't compare. Um, that's a big thing. I think it's easy to do. We are a community. We're all doing the same thing, but it's going to be easy to say, Oh my gosh, like she lost three pounds last week and I didn't lose a single pound or, you know, like she's using 12 or 15 pound weights and I'm over here with like five and eight. Like don't compare set like Christy said this already set small goals for yourself and work towards your goals don't work towards somebody else's goals um, but definitely start to kind of realize start to track your triggers start to journal about what you're reading and make to crave and how your body's reacting to certain foods and things like that I want you guys to see this as like a whole a whole transformation you know from the inside out for sure and we're definitely going to talk more about self-care that's going to be a big part of this um, you know, are you getting, are you getting enough sleep? Are you, are you turning off your phone while you do your workouts? Like, are you spending enough time with your family? You know, like definitely, definitely focus on those things as well during this journey. Um, once we kind of get past that first, that first week or two, when we're just trying to survive and figure out how this all works. But yeah. Um, so like, I just want to challenge you guys to, to do that as well. Does everybody have made to crave? Do we have that book made to crave? I definitely want to encourage you to get it. Like, don't skip that part of this challenge group. That book is amazing. And I know it's not just about food. It can be about so many other things. But, um, you know, like, it, it just don't, don't skip that part of this journey. We are going to, Jordan um, mentioned this, and it was a really good idea, but we're going to do, like, a book club on Saturdays at 9 o'clock in the morning. And we can talk food, nutrition, and workouts and stuff, too, but we're going to start to talk about made to crave and kind of what God's telling us. So I really hope you guys will show up for that as well if you can. And that's nine o'clock central standard time um, on Saturday morning. So uh, that is all. That's all I've got. If do you guys have any questions for us or anything that you want to add to that, go ahead, Christy. No, y'all go ahead and ask questions, but I do oh, have some other things that I wanted to okay. share. That I forgot. Okay. But go ahead. Do you have any questions or anything you want to add to it? Hey, my Connor's still awake. <laughs> Eight fifty-two. Olivia. <laughs> hey, um, hey, Connor. Hey, Olivia. I have you tried to eat early? Have you tried to eat before your workout at all? Hold on, let me unmute you. I can't unmute you guys. Let's see, Olivia. Can you, yeah, I can, nope, I can't hear you. Oh, I can't do it. Can you okay. hear me? Yes, now I can hear you. Here we go. Okay. Um, I, I did this morning, and I, I didn't, because I didn't let a lot of time go. I mostly kind of did like um, what she said she did. You know, she, she ate and then went right into the workout. It kind of made my stomach sick. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I mean, I didn't throw up or nothing, but I, it didn't. I just don't like to eat. I'm like you. I don't like to eat okay. uh, before. I'd rather just wait till afterward, and it's that's yeah. that's the hard part for me because I do not feel like eating in the morning like that. Yeah. Okay. All Especially right. that kind of food. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I can't eat all that food in the morning. I can't eat chicken sausage in the morning. Christy's like a a Hulk over there. Down in the cheek. Sort of a beast when it comes to eating. I have no, I just eat whenever. <laughs> no, but I, like, I kind of like what you, like you said you ate, but like a half a banana and the almond butter. butter. Uh, and what else did you eat? I only eat one boiled egg. It says two, but and I one boiled egg. only eat one. Yeah, I tried two and I barely could get that second one down. It was like, cool. <laughs> yeah. No, I can't do it either. So I'm happy that I can get that down though. Like, and I feel it does, I can tell a difference. Like I can tell that I have more energy during my workout. So like, I definitely want to encourage you to try it again and maybe try to do it like, um, 30, oh. 40 minutes before your workout and see if you feel better. Okay. Um, yeah. anybody else? <laughs> All right, that's all I got, Christy. 
Okay, I was gonna say a couple things about the breastfeeding. What you should do, even to lose weight, is to stay in your maintain, your maintenance bracket. And if you're not wanting to lose weight, you go up one um, uh, to the bracket. And I have been told by some uh, nursing moms that like plan A just is not suitable for anybody that is nursing, that it's just too low. There's not enough calories in it. Um, but there is some information in um, FAQs about this, and I can't imagine that it will not be covered more. Um, let's see, there was something else that I just thought about. I was like, um, as far as goals, gosh, I can't remember what it was that had it. Hey, I was going to say, um, Chris, um, did I mute myself? I was going to say that deplete meal plan, you know, we were looking at that and it said like the, the, de the refeed and the deplete, there's a, there's like a plan if you want to lose weight a little bit faster. Um, that's what that is for. Maybe you like cut a yellow or something like that, but I'll, I'll look and we can, find, we can share that. <laughs> right. Hey Connor. <laughs> okay. Can you say hi bud? Okay, I don't know. That was it. I was just looking through my notes from what Autumn was saying um, when we talked, but I think we've covered it all in some way. Okay, that's it. Sounds good. So uh, I do want to ask, okay, so everybody's pretty quiet on the call. So like who is ready to meal plan? Like who feels ready like they could do it? I still okay. haven't got all my stuff. It has to be, I'm waiting for it to be shipped. So I'm still kind of in the loss with all the containers and all that kind of stuff. So I've just been kind of going through like what Rachel will put down, kind of just like um, she had the whole thing, like her meal plan and stuff. So I just kind of, kind of like did, did my own thing, but yet I could follow that like and do that. So I'm just kind right. of waiting to like my Shakeology and everything. It's not even here yet. So yeah. Did your show up, Jessica? No. Still not here. I, I got, they, told me, uh, they told me it was going to ship yesterday, but it still hasn't shipped. Okay. I got chocolate recover in the mail today. If you saw my Instagram stories, Connor unpackaged it and showed it right. Um, and I ordered that on New Year's Eve because I'm wild and crazy like that. That's when I placed the order. <laughs> that night um so um that that shipped on or was ordered on 12 31 so i'm just as a point of reference so yes. yours was 12 31 yeah, also was say, it was so you know they're not out out unless they ran out after that order you know or something <laughs> but um but i do know it is low um so that is what's holding up a lot of orders uh or maybe but um I don't know. I, my recommendation, if you're feeling like you're still not ready to meal plan or you're intimidated by it, is to make the like most simple <laughs> meal plan menu you've ever made. You know, and you know we're not going to eat boring for the entire time, but just to get started, to get into your groove. Um, I think fun. that you're when you start to eat that way, it may be a little bit hard, but you are going to feel stinking amazing. Yeah, you will go through a detox, but when you start to eat that way, give it a week, two weeks, um, and I'd say the second week will probably be the hardest, uh, but you're going to feel really good, and that food is going to start to taste really good, and don't go, don't, don't be afraid to use seasonings, you know, like I wouldn't use sauces, but season your food well, you know, like go to Trader Joe's, if you have one, they have the best seasonings you know like make sure it tastes good it doesn't have to taste bad it's just good maybe a different way of eating for you we should do a, a thing about seasonings everybody share because like wild tree is one you can order there's pensies um if you're in memphis or near a large city or even online p-e-n-z um maybe e-y or something and these are really quality seasonings that don't have you know, a lot of sodium or preservatives, a lot of them are gluten-free and organic. So, um, you know, seasonings, I mean, I can eat ground turkey breast if it has enough of the right flavor or seasoning to it, you know, just 
No, yeah. and it's so easy. That's actually yeah, what I'm having for lunch tomorrow. Yeah, like we had turkey tacos for dinner tonight, and mine, what I ate tonight, would totally fit into this meal plan. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah. Just, it's, it's an education thing. Like, you'll, you'll learn new ways to eat and enjoy your food, so. Was your turkey tacos the recipe that um, Autumn, I remember I saw where her brother and Autumn did this recipe of turkey tacos. I thought it looked good. I don't know. I just, I kind of, when I make taco anything, I just use my own seasoning. I just use garlic okay. powder, cumin, chili powder, salt, and pepper. I think that's what she used. Yeah. Her, yeah. You know. And I make every, <laughs> I make everything with that. So. It's really, we like it, and the boys will eat it, so it's really good. That's good. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll share lots of recipes. Like, I mean, obviously, like, if you're eating whole foods, like we're talking about, you don't really need a lot of recipes, which is kind of nice. Um, you just need to cook some proteins, and, like, I buy steam bags of veggies. That's what we eat. We buy pre-wrapped yeah. potatoes, uh, you know, so, like, it's very, very simple. It's not complicated at all. Yeah. Yeah, I did that for lunch. I had leftover like chicken and I had broccoli and I made me a sweet potato for lunch. That's really weird because I'm never used to really eat that for lunch, you know. But yeah. so then yeah. I just had chili for dinner with when, made with turkey. So one thing I'm struggling to figure out how I like it is kale. Cause I wanna eat it because it's number one and I just cannot find a way that I like it. What kind are you buying? Because you can buy like baby kale, you can buy like the stalk. Oh, it's the, yeah, it's the baby kale. It's like pre cut and stuff, is what I've gotten. Yeah. I haven't gotten any of it. Have you sauteed it? Yes, I did, but I'm, I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> when I buy the baby kale, um, that and spinach, I hate the texture of raw spinach. Like, it makes me, ugh, my teeth really yucky really afterwards. It, it definitely leaves. Yeah. Something. I will microwave it for like 30 seconds, 45 seconds, and it wilts it, and I'll, I'll eat it with like, um, you know, um, like mashed cauliflower or, you know, my protein or something, and it doesn't feel like kale. Yeah. It may still taste like kale, but it doesn't feel like kale. Feel like it. Christy, you um, get in your skillet, and it's good. Yes, if I do cast iron skillet and just saute it just with a little bit of oil. And then Timmy taught us this at the retreat at my house and um, some chili powder and some like crushed red pepper, salt and pepper, and um, just saute it. And it is so good. But if you don't like it, like you just may not like it. I didn't like it forever. Like we were like this until I had it, like Timmy made it. And I love greens. Like I love collard greens and different things, but not mushy, but braised or sauteed. And so when I realized that you could cook kale that way, I was like, Oh my God, like I could just eat this all the time. Um, but it just may not be your thing. And you could eat Brussels sprouts if you like those and you could saute or roast those. So, you know, yeah, I like pretty much anything else. I'm just yeah. Like, so I mean, don't beat yourself up about it, you know. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that's good. Good question. Mm -hmm. Some some of us just ain't gonna like kale. Yes. Like that. I used to not. Like a girl sent me a message. She was like, "I thought we hated kale." Because I was like, "We hate kale." You know, used to like talk about. She's like, "Over here talking about trying to get people to eat kale now." <laughs> you know, like people. <laughs> Pay attention to what you're eating. <laughs> oh, I do have another question. So, like, I'm sure those of you have been that have been doing this a while have pretty much a, a lot of weights. But what weight should I start at? Like, I've got a few. Like, I've got three or four different sizes, but that's it. And so, I didn't know if I need. What to get size them. do you have? So I've got like two, five, ten, and then fifteen. I think that's a good place to start. Okay. You might want like some eights or twelves or something if you really want to like vary it, but I think that's a really good place to start. I, for yeah. me personally, like I've been using like 15, 17, 20s, but I have been lifting for a while, you know, and so like um, I will try, I mean, obviously these workouts are different, so I'm probably not going to go higher than that. Uh, but that's like, that's me. I've been lifting for a while, but I think that like eight, 10, 12, 15 is a really good range that will take you pretty far in this program. Don't you think Christy? I do. Um, I've been doing 10, 12, 15 
and or 12 and a half because I have select tech, um, you know, but even still some moves, I don't use my select text because it's easier to use like a smaller dumbbell. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I mean, you might want to, I mean, we don't know. I would just, you know, see what that first week is like. Um, and if like by the second workout, if you're thinking, oh, I know I'm going to need that eight or, you know, a different one, um, I would go, but also in yard sales people, I know it's so cold right now or ask people that don't use them. Like all the people like, does anybody have any free weights? And they'll be like, yep, I've got some I never use. And they may give them to you or let you borrow. You know, that a lot of people, especially men, if they buy that whole set of weights, um, they're not going to use a lot of times the ones that we're going to use. <laughs> so you could ask to, to use those. And I find, like, I don't know what you have around you, but Academy tends to have the cheapest weights, like, or, you know, um, has the best prices on them. Yep. And that'll be exciting to see everybody go up. Sure we will. So when we start the exercise, like, I mean, like when they start the 80 day thing, uh, is everybody supposed to do the one that Autumn does? Is that what you want everybody to do that? Mm -hmm. You should get a workout calendar. If you don't, it's in those pre program resources. Um, and then here I can show you real, real fast, but um, it's, it's there so that it tells you exactly what workout to do every single day. So there's, yeah. The okay. And it'll like they mine came with one. Somebody, I think Jordan didn't get one, but see, it shows you. And I think that's why they're loading them a week at a time, maybe so as not to confuse us or something. Um, yes. But that, yeah. Like this. Okay. yeah, it should look okay. Like I was confused about that. I thought I thought we were supposed to just pick a coach, but then I started thinking, well, I think they wanted us to do the eighty day. Yeah. Thing. So with that's her. what okay. we're doing here. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Alrighty. Well, that's all I got. Does anybody else have any questions? All right. I'm going to say a prayer for us real quick and then we'll go. Okay. Sounds good. All right, God, thank you so much for this awesome group of ladies. Thank you for this opportunity to come together to do this that maybe we just wouldn't have done on our own. Thank you for the community. Thank you for um, the people who created this program, these, these um, containers, all this stuff that has changed my life personally, personally in technology. But God, above all, thank you for the friendships and, and just God, I pray that we would all draw close to you, that we would use this as an opportunity to challenge ourselves in our with our bodies and in our faith as well, God. And I pray that just good, good things would come out of this group and that we would all be here for each other to cheer each other on and, and, and have fun and just, just have a lot of fun doing this together. God, um, we praise you and I pray that you would just help us to honor you with everything that we do and that we say with the food that we put into our bodies, God, in Jesus name I pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Hey, don't ladies. hang up yet. Hey, don't hang up yet. Okay. Me? Yeah, all of us. Oh, okay. I was going to, I promise I wasn't ditching out on a prayer, but I was like, I, you know, I can never remember the screenshot on the apple. Like I'm oh. so whiny. Command shift four. See, I thought it was three. Uh -uh. That's no wonder. Are you okay? Okay. okay. Yes. Everybody pretend like you're praying. I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> 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 That's what I was gonna do. I was like, "Oh, look, this is a special moment. What is Aww. it? What? What do you want us to do?" Everybody just smile. Okay, all right. Command okay. what? Command. Command shift four. Command shift four. Okay, what do you do? Now, where's that go? On your desktop. Did I'm gonna need you to filter this. Like, I'm not. No, mine is like different. Doing. Okay, now everybody smile. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. Got okay. it. My command shift four, mine has to I have to draw it. Yeah. And then you have to. Three, I think it's three, it does just save it. Like what exactly in that moment. Okay. Don't okay. get I don't know. You got it? Maybe. Where do you think it it went to my desktop? Yeah, it goes to your desktop. Oh, my desktop is a hot mess. Okay. I don't see it. Hold on. Here, let me do it real fast. Yeah. Just let Rachel do it. Okay. Hold on. Mm -hmm. All right. Everybody smile. Look at me, Christine. 
Okay, I got it. Yes, if you do three, it saves it. We, this one saves it. When I do four, it saves it. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm going to let y'all go to bed. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Bye.